know what? I think I'm gonna take this other pillow. Yeah, I suppose no one's using it. Yeah, until until we get a fourth person living here, I'll I'll just use it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Hmm. Uh, you have those uh files we cross reference? Uh, the one in front of you. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna get some water from downstairs. Very well. Oh, my friend, you're here! <clears throat> mm. Been here most of tonight. How are you, Casimir? <laughs> you're worried about... about the lack this? of the box, yes. Well, I mean, I moved it into a less scripted box. <laughs> I did check. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, I figured... Move it into a new box and get rid of the old one. The old one is marked with a symbol. Trying to no. figure that one out. I wrote down. <clears throat> I I drew a copy of the symbol over there on my paperwork. Smart. So we at least know what the symbol looks like. I was thinking uh, Frogford could definitely fence it for us. I just need to get in contact with him. I have to send him another letter mm. about our uh, list of things we need. <clears throat> but uh, I'll meet you upstairs. Is uh, Darren awake yet? Yes, he's up there going through some of our other files. Fantastic. I love having diligent workers. <laughs> it's my favorite dock worker. <laughs> morning, Savitar. Good morning, Darren. How are you today? Uh, doing alright so far. <clears throat> Me and uh, Azmi has something. We've been uh, looking at. Oh. Mm -hmm. Regarding the silver. I see. <clears throat> Go ahead. We've been trying to figure out what the symbols on it mean. It's clearly um, two C's, but no place matches such such symbols. We we thought maybe Corano, but that's with a K. It might be the mm. sigil of someone instead of somewhere. Possibly a... Mm. Uh, That's what we're... Some fancy merchant or something. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe, but if it is, it might not even be... It might be from a far-off province. The <sighs> issue is that most of the mints would be within the like, keeps of every, every major city within Gradia. So you're saying you believe they are minted here, and they're being sent somewhere else? Potentially, but the only mint would be within the, the castle, and if these if the silver came from outside the province, there's no way of knowing. Though, considering the way we found it... At first I thought they meant Cora Cadiz, because, you know, Cora and Cadiz. Sure. Who knows? <clears throat> Uh, it's hard to say. It's just, and considering that it was under secrecy too. Well, <sighs> if this was official, <clears throat> you're right. If it was official, they would use proper uh, guards. They would use proper uh, channels to do this. But they are doing this through the Merchant Guild and the Carters Guild, and they're hiring mercenaries and forging fake dossiers and whatnot. Which makes me think maybe mm. this isn't all above board. <clears throat> But we had that suspicion yesterday, mm. didn't we? We did. It's just... 
to much unknown factors, though fencing it should be easy enough. But I just don't, I worry if well, whoever or whatever owns this, these seas are connected to find out somehow and start knocking down our, our friends when we start <clears throat> moving it. Well, I would hope that uh, Mr. Frogfoot is secretive in his movements. I would hope it could not uh, fall back to us. I mean, and if it does, truly, we just found it after all. We didn't attack the, uh, <clears throat> we didn't attack them or anything. It just fell off their cart quite literally. The very, <laughs> Frogfoot, yes. <laughs> Frogfoot may be a friend, but at least he doesn't know of this place, as far as I know. So <clears throat> at least it would be a while, even if he did get knocked over for it. Even the people providing security for us don't even know about this place. <clears throat> Hopefully. <laughs> but I will reinstate to you, do be careful coming in and out of this establishment, especially you, since you might have been spotted yesterday. I know I definitely was. I will be entering one way and leaving another way type of thing until we are sure this is settled down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm even hesitant to fence mm -hmm. the silver until we know it's safe, or at least very much where it came from, or where it's supposed to go. <clears throat> well, there's plenty of, mm -hmm. of work that can be done in, in here, so maybe I'll spend a day off the streets if you want. <laughs> sure. Lay low, stay out of ice. DM note, Kyler. I'm lay low as well. You I'm hear yelling now. outside of it, your building. It, it, Nolzis and Arnolf. The dogs. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me, I have to go somewhere. Mm. <clears throat> Write me a report if you need to uh, get something to me. I will be back later today. Very well. Take care, Savitar. And you. <clears throat> I think we still have some. If, you, if we're going to spend the whole day in... He knows you. He's taking sh <laughs> from the bear. Bears. Hello. How you doing? I didn't know you lived here. I'm doing fine now. No more fighting bears. Apologies. Oh. I'm here, sorry. There he is, I found them. I was looking for you. Work kept me late. I'm here. A council meeting, is it? Uh, one that was not scheduled. Great, okay. I asked for Michael Morgul as well. <clears throat> we'll be back to it. 
Alak. Morning, Dolly. Morning. What duties did you have? I didn't know that you were overseeing anything last night. I would have sent some of the personal guard with you. I had a different kind of overseeing. Ah. <coughs> you could train somebody else. You could militia somebody else. Are you... Are we about to be berated for something? Yeah. I don't know what else they could possibly be thinking of doing, but... They have hamstrung me enough as is. I'm not sure what else they intend. I've got him. You found him. Can go to the council chambers now. Good day to you, lords. Good day, Mr. Shuman. Up the keep, they wouldn't happen to have better coffee than this, do they? I don't drink coffee. I don't know. Ah. Shame. Well, it was worth asking. Good to see. You as well. I was just warning Mr. Morgul about some of our, um, company within the council and their manners, mm. or sometimes lack thereof. Yes, you and me both are concerned about their intent and how they'll conduct themselves. Good day, sir. Oh, I'm for one ready for a show. Oh, it's more than That's a wrong. show. Well, I'm sure you have no problem flaring back up at them. We must remember they hold the power. We must keep right. the Baroness on <clears throat> our side. Of that I want him. Now, as I was saying, I have no idea what it is they intend to ask of you nor what it is they intend to speak to you about. But I'll be in front of a majority of the council, and you will be on your own. They will not let anyone speak on your behalf. We'll be present, but decorum is decorum. Oh, that's fine by me. I should probably let you know I've decided to delay the last shipment. <sighs> Gotta fix that one card anyway. <clears throat> I'm not so worried about the card. But I'm starting to think that these gray skins are smart enough to understand schedules, if you'll be <laughs> honest. I mean, yeah, when the sun's in the same place in the sky, when everything happens, then it's really trivial. You have to remember they have what seems like lieutenants out there in the camp, remember? Aye, uh, officers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I assume they're in the small council chambers. Aye, Malone. Thank I'll you. escort you there. Excellent. <sighs> When we enter the small council chamber, just approach the center, give a courteous bow to the Baroness and the Barons. Facing the way that we are now, we will be going to the right. You will have a seat on the right side of the table. You will write, not theirs. Correct. All right.
As per three days ago, we are at a time of peace. Yeah. Peace? Uh, just uh, another obstacle, though. I wouldn't call it peace. We're not at war. We can't even leave the peace. walls of the city. Politically, Mr. Markle Morgul means that the Lord Marshal cannot make judiciary action. Any longer without the barons say so. Which means I cannot enforce I the see. law. <clears throat> it also means I cannot hold anyone accountable that may be of rank. <laughs> Why it isn't in dynasty hands, I don't know. I agree. It's a massive Patricia's. disadvantage. Our visitors have <sighs> Barons, Baroness, nobles. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. Please, sit. Now that you have arrived, we can begin a certain questioning. I want to be seated. Ah, Mr. Morgul. So kind of you to be joining us today. Thank you for having me. Right then. On to the matters at hand that required your attendance. My direction is towards you, Lord Erdhart. In regards to the yes, Iron Man. How is it coming along? And how much time do you still need or still acquire before it is reaching up to the standard that we need it to be? At this current situation, the Iron Mine is under sporadic assault as it's acting as a front line, a bulwark between Nodis itself proper and the orc-held crags. The mixed garrison of both Radard and Imperial men are doing their job and doing it well. I will admit the Imperial's night killers are doing more work when it comes to punching through the enemy armor. Let's keep it at <coughs> bay, but we need stone walls and ordnance to maintain that position. I also oh, remember there was a rumor. There. I've heard sources that the amount of resources needed to continue the garrison at the stone mine is quite exorbitant, as well as the number of casualties that keep piling up from day to day. Is it truly worth this garrison? My good patrician, there are no conflicts worth loss, but we must spend our pieces wisely to make sure that it means something. The province is drowning in debt. Not only debt to the surrounding provinces, but to the Imperium, who will be malicious with that debt. They will try to take more and more concession. The iron mine, once secured, gives us a flow of our own coin outside of their control. It protects the barony. It, it must be secured. Arthur, you have to realize our resources are dwindling. Yes, I agree, Lord. We are in debt, and things are looking quite grim. These walls of ours aren't even finished. Perhaps we should uh, keep priorities in check. Home comes first, then any outliers. Speaking of home, can we discuss for a minute these orcs? They're more riled up than they were when they were left their own devices. The constant conflict, they're swarming everywhere. 
can't move anything, can't do anything without the damn things being there getting in the way. This feels like a severe tactical error, and as the Lord Earhart has pointed out, the Imperials are the ones doing all the damn work. Another thing they're going to hold over our heads. You discredit your own soldiers, my lords. They're doing their jobs as well. There's the technological advantage that gives their larger creatures pause. The fighting spirit of the Rudard men has not been broken. They are fighting with what they have. But again, with more coin from those silver mines, they can be better equipped. We need to mass produce pikes. Longer reach weapons, things to keep their beasts, their trolls at bay. The iron mine will secure this. But the amount of time that they were left without any sort of action taken towards them, they have been allowed to somehow filter through Palamon's lands and establish a forge within the cries. <clears throat> their palisades are being replaced with masonry. You heard me right, my lords. They are building stone fortifications. They're not leaving. They're here to stay. You say that there's going to be an influx of coin. Yes? Yes. But it does not currently lie within Radad hands. How can we be sure that Mr. Marco will be loyal to the dynasty? Do we know for a fact that oh, wow. we will not have to see it with force? Oh, um, Mr. Morgul to speak for himself. Lady, if I may. Uh, Baroness, we have no more interest in our uh, father, Lord Adhart. Uh, Mr. Morgul, if you may. <clears throat> if you could stand uh, for our inquiries. <clears throat> Certainly. Yes. <clears throat> Do you mean the middle? Uh, uh, yes. To the center. I can't quite hear you from all the way over there. <clears throat> Makes sense to me. All right. Yes, thank you for putting your legs to work. All right. Um, <clears throat> now, you, you say uh, you claim you want ownership of these uh, iron mines. <clears throat> What interest or motivations do you have with these mines as a merchant? As a merchant? Well, as a merchant, that would be to make profit. <clears throat> Sorry, say that one more time with, with emphasis. Use your, use your oh, chest. Yes. <clears throat> as, as. To make profit, my lord. Ah, there, you see. To make That's all profit. he wants, Hold on, oh, profit. Hold on, hold on. You jump the gun, can't tell, please. <clears throat> we say time. Ah, yes. You have if a I reputation. Uh, hold on. You have a reputation around these places as, uh, what was it, uh, my baron and baroness? A coin cousin. The rumors yes. are that uh, you would sell out your own mother for a silver. Uh, could you dispel any of these rumors? Yeah, uh, baseless rumors. Baseless. Mm. Any t terrible acts recently? <sighs> oh. Any examples of devotion to the dynasty? Yes, thank you. Well, <clears throat> I could say certain things that I have done in, well, defense of the dynasty mr morgul has gone out of his way when the capitano was in power to assist with his you are not the one <clears throat> talking yes my baroness Certain thank you baroness what thing you can say them, but apparently they have no value because you can't tell us i if i may, may. during the uh well, conflict with the robber baron. When uh, Lady Ladia was kidnapped, I helped in retrieving her. Y you helped? Yes. I infiltrated the enemy lines, collected intel, met with contacts, and made sure she got back. Therefore, make 
making sure the Imperials helped us defeat him. <laughs> That's odd. That didn't come up in my ledgers. Any of you? Yes. More like Sorry. loyalty to the Imperium than it does to the dynasty. Mm. Also sounds like common mercenary work. What is the merchant doing? Interchating lines, well. collecting information. Let's just say, war on your home front doesn't really lead to profits. And, well, that was a big problem. That nothing was coming in to the town. Hmm. I could speak on Mr. Morgul's behalf from a reliable source. Sir Exter, I believe, was his name. Spoke in regard to these deeds. He is not falsely claiming his involvement in retrieving Miss Heidemann. He, he was there, and he did help in succeedingly taking her back. So yes. Thank you, my bad. Sir Exter? Notorious war criminal? Hmm. Responsible for the know. killings of many soldiers. He's already yeah, been held for it. trial. It's been passed. It's yes, not the fact that the he's word. already gone to trial. It's happened. His it's actions happened. speak for what? themselves. <laughs> not only that, the word of a man. <sighs> Mr. Morgul. Please give us a reason why we shouldn't just take your mind. And use its resources for the dynasty. Yar, I am doing it for the dynasty. I don't That's see a reason. Do you do you have do you have the ability to process and ship? You're not doing it out of to this dynasty. It's people and it's barony. You're in it for coin. You said as much yourself. Why should we have you to deal with you, you when we can just I take the resources and put them to use and not waste this time with you and your coin? May I? You may speak. You asked me as a merchant, but as a sitting citizen and a person that lives in Nodis, I have always stated that I want somewhere safe to live. <clears throat> and by allowing me to handle all this, I can make sure that can happen. But who are you to handle all of this? To be a merchant is one thing, to run an iron mine is another. Well, I am an elf. I have years of experience doing many different things in many places. <coughs> He's being torn to shreds, man. This is so sad. And I don't see anyone else handling it, my lord. It seems when no one else was willing to or able, the Morgul took over it with no problems. And it's fucking scary it being up well. there in front of everyone. Like, it's nerve-wracking. I, I know how he feels. It's, it fucking sucks. Why there. not let him spend his money for his dynasty? Allow him that to is, serve. Uh, that is an excellent point. Uh, lady knows us. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Morgul. You understand the dangers of a monopoly over a single kind of resource. In this case, stones and metals mined from the earth. Why should you hold more power over this quarry where I could easily allow my son uh, to handle things? He has enough coin, enough means. That way it won't be entirely in your hands to spice up the cost of rocks. If I may, my lord, you may. Yeah. Is your son willing to get dirty and go in and make sure everything happens himself? <coughs> oh yes, according to these fine folks, we're doing nothing, so we should spur them along. A bit older than you, then. So why mm -hmm. should we hand it to you? Give me a good reason. Ah, <sighs> well. How are you going to ship out of Nodus? The Imperials? Mm. 
Erhards can't help will be shut down with Box into a corner here. He has to fight for himself, unfortunately. <clears throat> Knowles this can have a little impact, but get it out. I currently have a partnership with a shipping company. Newly created. How about what sh what shipping company? We haven't heard of this. The Gale no. Company. If you go to the Merchants Guild, all the paperwork is done. The Gale Company. Hmm. That's no. I know who is in charge of this company. <laughs> yes. A few associates. Associates. <laughs> oh, uh, any names? Any reputable types? Me, of course. This is what we're so, talking about, Mr. Mogul. Being placed solely on you, you can change the price to whatever you wish. That is what ownership well, implies. And that's what contracts are for. So how about this? We okay. sign a contract that I can handle all the shipments and everything, exports to other places, to make sure that we all make a profit. Taxes included in all the prices. Make sure that everyone in the province benefits. Let me think on this. Yeah, he's playing into their greed. That's what you do. <clears throat> I was going to make an inquiry about the taxes. The I still hold firm that the dynasty should hold the mines, but I will yield to whatever the baroness decides. He's willing no, to Do you know this game company? He was well, young yes, lord. We must ensure this ever come up to either of you? I know it's recently appeared in um, Corsetto. That's about the extent of my knowledge. I know he's been connected to it. It's a better option As it seems, my son is currently talking. Off to the side. I will talk if to you directly. Out of his hands, there could be sure. riots. If you don't you mind coming know, the closer people are for me. But I trust Magamo. Yes. He's been through every single Jesus. thing that we have struggled through. Where have you, you already started, started with your shipping company? Where have you sent the man the is very What are the people involved? He can put That's people to his side. It will take your vote of. It's a smaller it's operation. operation. It's point of reference. Thank you. We push this through the Imperials. Could that help pay off their debt? He has a good point. We'd have to work. They could use their ships. We could, but it's still going to be an amount of tax. It's going to take a great deal of profit over there. Right, but I'd rather pay off the debt to the Imperials than go to someone else. At least with a contract, you'd be able to put in your say, lady. It was mostly because a lot and of people their ships could handle it. It's just that it should have been sent That's through to a problem. Problem. <coughs> tax upon tax, tax, tax two ways, import and export. Yeah. With that being We're going said, to be getting sprinkled. Have you done any shipping recently using your company? That's if it's done officially. If it's done quietly, I'm not darling a profit. And there's a chance to make a profit. Have you sent things off to other lands? But if Marco has a connection with the DDU, is it? Have you used the Carter's Guild? I worry about their ability to defend themselves. If they're going all the way to Corocatus using boats, you know those waters. I see. If we make I do know that you're sitting next to a woman with the most gladiators in the province that could go on these ships and act as security if she was willing. At least this way, and we can get more information about what is still you're offering. In action. I don't know enough about this. They should prevent a boarding action. I'm going to listen to what I don't know. What I'm offering is to make sure that the Imperial... We have to trust Mark on this one and find out more for us. I doubt as well, but... Stay on our minds. What choice do we have with... Vines wrapping around us. Mr. Morgul, a line of question. Do you not wish to rely on the Imperial Baron boats? You said we this guild company is based out in Cassetto, correct? Where? Yes. We just have to stomach and sit. You are well aware of the our looming threat and how it is that it has made several con times contact with the Cassetto. And if this was to occur again. And we obviously, this other was to someone that would constantly bear the weight of such another attack. An auditor. Where exactly is the stance of the game company go? Would they 
assist? Uh, would they flee? Could they resource? Would they remain Something absent? So valuable, well, stone, exactly, it is their leaders must alive. Be able to defend it. We must be able to track it. You know this. One thing I guess I'll add to the list of the, uh... <laughs> questions Mission and Andy. proposals. Follow up question. If I've in their say with it, then... <laughs> I'd in the sure case of another attack, and maybe if anything, if I dare say, and I hope not, a successful one, and they flee, and your operation comes crumbling down, do you have any assurances you can give me? Do you intend to assurances. hold responsibility? Your operation yes. will cease to be if you have no shipping, and you have no ships. And then we will find ourselves back to where we started. I think it... It's a wise question. But... As it stands now... Anything we try to export through Nodis doesn't leave the coin with the Radoths. I will say Let's I'm willing to capitulate to working well, with him and his company. When you will have this supposed meeting with your partners, do bring these do questions up and perhaps write me something back as in response. I would be eager to no, there. These foreign legions. My baroness, no further inquiries uh, from the patrician uh, for Mr. Morgul. <clears throat> well, with that being said, then, you may go ahead and return back to your seat. Thank you for answering all these questions. Mm. Young Lord Enhart. Can you please stand in to the center, please? I have a few questions for you. Of course, my Baroness. Hmm. Now. There is a, a couple of questions mm. I'd like to ask you. And first things first, my son, if you have any further before I begin. <laughs> no. Do any of you? Uh, lady. I heard about the recent loss of a very decorated veteran, shall we call him. Someone who had been in service for a very long time currently ended up dead after a very scatterbrained, harebrained idea to, what was it again? Was it seizing some renegades? Some scare ah, yes. themselves. That was I it. heard about this one. Yeah. <clears throat> Curious. Didn't care to explain. And the number of losses. Mm. Your question being, my lady? How can we afford such losses to our Forces. Surely you don't want us to rely on the Imperium again? The wonderful Imperials. Are these losses worth it, is my question. For a good man such as the Sergeant, no loss is worth it, but it's how we spend them is important. We were given an opportunity to apprehend the commander of this yes, scarecrow renegade how you spent this man's life was a failure <laughs> a complete war so please, if this is how all of our veterans are going to be used well i expect us to lose the walls within weeks maybe days i'm surprised you're still here then be honest, mm. with failures like this, I do not believe the young lord should be in control of the cavalry. yet. If spirits and veterans would be so expendable. Oh. 
with respect. We have, and what little ones that are experienced, we can't afford to throw them away chasing scarecrows. The scarecrows are a real threat. They have their own cavalry division. That was what caught us off guard, and they are well trained. They can only be countered by a cavalry division such as myself that have been well trained, that know their leader, that know how to fight. And you yourself are so experienced in cavalry? Are you volunteering, my lord, to take my place? Simply asking a question. Watch your tongue, boy. If I may. He's not completely wrong. He was the one who stepped forward during the robber baron's attacks to train the cavalry in the first place. And losses, whether we are at peace or not, will happen. It was an affront. And it is a shame at the loss of such a sergeant. <laughs> but removing the person who has trained our men and has stood beside them, I believe, would be demoralizing. And if the aired hearts are correct, their morals and the morality of those men is at a high. It would be quite a shame to have such a loss and a dip. A yes, high the shame. soldiers. What about their families? Sorry. As a noble woman, I must care for the families, after all. How about the losses of their beloved husbands or wives? Forgive me, my lady, did I didn't do? see you at the funeral the other night. If you were so concerned, I would have assumed mm. you would have been there. I mustn't have seen you. I apologize. Of course. My apologies. So you had gone to the funeral is... of said loss. Is that correct? He was my sergeant, my lady. It felt only right. Can the family confirm this? Of course. I know the weight of the Please losses of my men. Down. Thank you. The Baroness. No, thank you uh, for stepping up here and answering those questions. I'm sorry to put you on the spot like that. Quite the quick wit. <clears throat> uh, Baroness, if I may bring up one final issue. You may. Uh, the issue is deserters, men. Uh, they must be punished. Punished by the law. <clears throat> the garrison, garrisons and families are <clears throat> being bogged down for every case of desertion. <clears throat> nailed it! Oh, that was so good, I fucking nailed that. Woo! Kyla doesn't normally do well in those situations. We are spending too much time pulling men away from where they should be, defending us against these greenskins, too many resources to ensure that the deserters do not flee, or worse. We cannot afford to continue to do this. It is a waste of man, resources, and time. Put them to the axe and set an example. And let this idiot be considered done with. Hear, yeah, hear. Yeah. <clears throat> We intend to uphold justice. Each man must have a case. My Baron, with all due respect, these men have fought against you and our Baroness. And they are still. They have made their allegiances clear. They men must be and punished. women. We do not have the time. Of the, of the dynasty. We cannot break that. I understand what you are saying, my Baron, but we do not have the time. We need the resources, we need the men where they are needed most, with the green skin threat. We cannot waste anything else on these deserters. 
If we convene for every single man, it is absurd. How do we expect to handle all of the issues that are already before us, not including the green skin? This will take years. When we I do not wish to now, see a, a, another, res, a, another insurrection. Because if we do not do this properly, we will once again have more men at our doorstep opposing us. But, my Baron, these men are already guilty. They have swapped sides, different colored uniforms. They fought against our men. This is treason at the highest caliber. I'm sure they have their reasons. I do not deny that, but they have picked a side. Indeed. A side that is no longer on the battlefield. No longer on the battlefield. How many were dead? How many were slaughtered every day? Every time we had an engagement? How many of are still our soldiers Enough, were Enough, and killed? you would have you basically more blood spilt. There must be a message. You know this. My Baron, blood has already A message of no redemption is what you would have for what a little army I have left. You would have this council, as he stated, meet every single time. Every single time. Nothing will speak, be done. Baron. It's already a bureaucratic hell. Lord Marshal. As it stands now, the patricians are correct, in my humble opinion, Baron. We have hundreds of soldiers that have yet to be dealt with judiciously. Well, we have soldiers tied up, instead of remaining on the front lines, dealing with the raids and attacks from the orcs, are busy patrolling around the interiors of the prisons that are now full to bursting, that are escorting soldiers or deserters, I should say, to their hearings every day, taking up the time of the nobles instead of now taking advantage of the open borders and ports and trying to reform connections. We're busy trying to reform our military. The patricians are correct in the sense that these soldiers have indeed made their choice. And to bring the barons and their lords together for every single case is a misallocation of resources. In a time of peace, judicial punishment and reckoning through the law must be brought before the council in every single case or a representative of the baroness and reigning barons. This process of litigation has slowed down every single one of these deserters' cases to a crawl. The sheer depth of it has become a <clears throat> Jump on it. Nightmare. Jump on it, Arn. I see what he's going for. Do it, do it. Jump on it. What I propose... Yes. My barons, baroness, lords... ...is that we remind ourselves... <clears throat> ...that just past the old woodcutter's fort... ...there is a crag full of thousands of orcs... With grey skins from Agmadron acting like officers, smarter than the average greenskin by far. We've seen them use siege equipment. We've seen their trolls use siege weapons. We've seen them creating armor and using forges and now building walls. <coughs> this is not a time of peace. And we are not heading towards a time of peace. We are heading towards conflict. We're heading towards war. Not against man, not against an insurrection, but beasts that will devour us if they get the chance, that see us as nothing more but meat and a meal. They recognize Give him no back his power. Do it. I see how he's spinning this, and it's so good. War, the Lord Marshall <clears throat> able to yes! Judiciary punishment on behalf of the Barony. <clears throat> but the Baron and Baroness's approval is an extension of the law. 
This allows the Lord Marshal to handle these issues and those who have broken the law without the necessity of the entirety of the council being formed for every single individual man. If criteria was given by the lords, the ladies, the baroness or the baron, these cases would be able to move as quickly as they arrived in front of myself, the custode, and the sergeant at arms. It would not take away from the time of the nobles, and it would allow us to also prepare for the conflict that is at our doorstep. In closing, I would ask the lords, the ladies, the baroness, the barons, to consider a movement to return the province into a state of war, as we are not at peace. very little way that we're going to get this done properly. Of my baroness, if I may. You may speak. <clears throat> I fully support what the marshal suggests. This will give us what we need, which is time. If he can handle it as he says he can, then so be it. Hmm. Delegate it to the marshal. Don't cool. waste any more time than we already have. And time and resources. Have if those are freed up and we can ensure that we have our defenses, then he would also have my support. I would go a step further. If, uh, if I may, <clears throat> the people need to see the penalty. Yes, execution is <coughs> fine, but that doesn't seem to be doing the trick anymore. Perhaps, Marshal, my Baroness and my Baron, he could be shown to be, uh, to the ones who are truly guilty, of course, <clears throat> to brutalize these men openly in the streets to show the people of what truly happened. If we were to take a book out of the Imperium, <clears throat> they simply just set them on fire. <clears throat> I'm sure our marshal here can be quite creative, and he will keep everyone in line for these times so dire. Pardon the uh, thought of it, of course. <clears throat> but I would approve under that little stipend. I say throw them away with what just, gear we have. Just a few. Not orcs. a lot. Just a few of them. Personally, I'm <clears throat> against this. Hmm. The Lord Marshal has already gained a renown over the past couple months in his position already to give him even more power to be both judge and executioner just to make things go faster. Seems a little bit... Say easy. Brash. This needs if to I be have not by with... now, my lord, proven where my loyalties lie, then by all means place whoever you wish to oversee me at all times. I'm willing to work in the presence of someone that is considered absolutely loyal to the local crown. My concern is the orc threat, my lord. We are not ready and we have more men in chains than we have soldiers. Good point. Show them what the orcs will do to us. <clears throat> but the only way this will work is if the Baroness declares the province in a state of war. Hmm. I am sorry, my Lord Marshal. I cannot give him my favor for this. I cannot deny those men their justice, as they have been denied for so long. It would go against everything I stand for. My answer is no. I understand, my Baron. Well, 
Hearing the thoughts of everyone in this room, on this side, you three, hmm. you may be with him on all of this as well, but I would like to hear your side before I put my final judgment. Fine, if I must first. I believe he is correct. We were too hasty to call a time of peace. I have been out to those crags myself, before anything was ever starting to be built. And the dangers that were out there and were wrought, we are not ready, especially with our numbers. The Lord Erdhart is correct. We need men. And the faster the better, considering what dangers are upon us. From what I've heard even in recent trips out, there have been numbers of trolls. It's not just orcs, green or gray, that are a problem. It is everything else they're bringing with them. We need the manpower, and we need it fast. I am with him on this. And I would stand against him if I thought he was wrong. But he is right in this action. Hmm. My bias... Any... Forgive me. Any... My bias for this is obvious. But I'll speak in logics. If we don't rebound from these losses that we've suffered quickly, it will quickly become about survival again rather than a fight. We'll be pushed back to our walls. We cannot match them unless we do something about it quickly. However, I will say, burning people in the streets is barbaric. And I don't think that is an option we, we should go down. We are better than the Imperials. We're better than the Orcs. That's all I have to say on it. You know my stance. Rather than a regular human threat, this is more of an existential threat. You can't reason with the Orcs. You can't make peace with the orcs. They are a force of nature. We need as much as we can to stem this tide. That is why we need money. That is why we need the Lord Marshal. That is why we need to make sure the morale of the people is higher than anything else. Burning people will not raise that morale. <laughs> With all and by thoughts, letting the orcs run rampant, mm -hmm. well, it's going to cause even more trouble for the regular person. But hearing everyone's thoughts upon this, in this room alone, and my own feelings, for this side as well. I approve of what you are asking. But I would like someone watching over you. Whatever it is that you I volunteer. <clears throat> that I will tell you at a later date. If this is fucking Venora or Ladia, I'm gonna like scream. To before I call this council meeting to a close. No, my Baroness. No, my Baroness. I will hold this my has response, Vidya. A lot more civil of a council meeting. Something Judar would have been proud of. With that being said, I call this meeting to a close. I thank all of you for meeting here.
God save my paradise. <clears throat> Before you leave, please stay in here with me for just a moment. This is necessary. Unfortunately. Yes. <clears throat> Madonna. Mm. It will ultimately be your decision. I can understand the words have been spoken. I did. Into the ring but we have heart. to make sure that we have resources. We well, cannot afford to lose. Oh, I see this Not is an absolute win. How long were you I'm sitting on that one? one? So now I would like all of you to please bring it back to the first one before you return. Perhaps, my darling. Perhaps. It looks like it went in our favor. Well said, both you and Carlo. Let's keep moving. You know, a thought just came to me. What the people yeah. really need, well, to make sure that, well, they don't start leaving, is a champion. Hmm. Not of nobility or anything, out of the people. Can you stop picking up that Zwei Hunter? No, <laughs> no, no, not me. Somebody with a lot more training. We had Wo Slim. I don't know. I just had an image of, you know, Aegon and not sitting in the middle of the fucking street actually doing something useful. You will never just have the wolf do such a thing. He cares about himself <laughs> and just himself. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we can find somebody else. Yeah, if Shilbrick wasn't, you know, attached to the hip to his father, I would have suggested him, but he also was pissing his pants to trolls, so who knows? I need to be grotty and born. It's and not Shilbrick or grotty and born? Shilbrick aside, for the reasons we agreed upon, it'd be even better if they were local. Let's go on my fucking oh. hip, Jesus. <sighs> A local. Guardian born. I don't have any answers. Well, in the sense that they accept the current situation with the Iron Mine, as long as we get that wall up, we'll be able to start focusing on profit. <clears throat> I will say, there is a ship at Cassetto that was seized on the orders of the Barony and myself. It was being operated by slavers, and it's just sitting there. I'm not sure who you have to go through, but I feel like it would be better in your hands than it would in that dock. All right. I go check on the next fleet over. I'm not sure who you need to speak to about that, but perhaps a conversation with your merchant friends first would be best. Lords. Soldiers. <coughs> Godsman. I will admit, though, <coughs> I've never heard of this Gale company, and I don't want another sawtooth on my hands. Yep. <coughs> Luckily, they're a smaller operation.
Well, speak to them about that ship in the harbor. Maybe they can help you fund whatever it is that the barony would ask for it. Ah, all right. Outside of that, good speaking, Mr. Morgul. You navigated their pitfalls with tact. Oh, it's... I, I, I wanted to laugh at them very hard for their childish nature, but, you know, it's <clears throat> unbecoming. I keep this up. You go from coin cousin to coin lord. That'd be oh, a welcome God. sight. <sighs> Stay the course. Would be nice having a nice keep in the distance, you know? Maybe maybe touch up the old uh, Radad fortress. If I ever am rewarded anything for my efforts, I will let you know how to get one. <laughs> Do let Spy. me know, too. What Thank we... you for your assistance, Lady Noldis. Hmm. Any time. Don't blindside me next time, though. Of course. If there's anything else, Mr. Morgul, now's the time. Otherwise, you'll freeze up. <sighs> so probably tomorrow for the next shipment, you think? Perhaps. Right. There is a... There's a gathering of nobles tonight. It's a ball of sorts. I've been asked to attend without my retinue. Without command over the royal guard. So we'll see how that goes. If I do not receive a dagger to my ribs, we'll talk about the next shipment. All right. Well, try to have some fun. I'll do my best, my friend. I'll do my best. At least bring a wine taster. If you can. Taste my own wine. I'll have an antidote with me. <clears throat> there you go. <sighs> Good day, my lord. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Morgan. See you later, Dad. Well done, my son. Well done, you. I saw it happening as you were laying it out. <laughs> <coughs> it's good to get you back up there. You were very careful about the way you worded yourself, but you were firm yet fair. You did not flaunt anything. It was... A tactful way of saying that you made more of an appearance to the common folk than they ever did. It's true, though. I was not aware that you attended that funeral. It's what I expect of a leader and a good man. If you get the chance, please pass my condolences on to the family. We'll send them a tithe hmm. to help them. I will do. I told them if they need anything to find me, and I would try and make sure that they don't fall apart without their husband and brother and... <laughs> can't do it for every man though just look at you <laughs> I'm picking up a thing or two purple and gold and blacks beautiful sword on your hip <clears throat> well spoken handsome Every bit my son. Learn from the best. Keep doing what you're doing. Of course. Be safe up there. It's a treat to watch you grow, Kylo. <laughs> Kyla's all giddy on the inside. <laughs>
It was awesome. It was such a good man. Like I, I normally like both me and Kyla kind of you know being up in the hot seat like that. It's nerve wracking, man. I nearly, I normally like stutter and find my way around, but nah, man. That time we fucking nailed it. We fucking nailed that. That was so good. <clears throat> You gave him back his money? Yeah. What happened to it that when the coin leaves the pocket? Is trying to stay under the radar. I was buying something for him. Could absolutely get ballot contest stage. It boosted a lot of Kyla's, you know, everything. Like, cause up until like now, he's just been hitting with failure after failure after failure after failure. You know. It's good to actually do something correct, get something right, handle it well. That's three days pay. Thank you. Okay. Like, if if this didn't happen, like if a win didn't happen, and Kyla was like told to do something, like, go fight or something, he would have been, like, hella hesitant. He would have been hella hesitant to, like, ride Maelstrom out there, like, after the shit that went down last time. <clears throat> Threw them some dirt. Dude, the, the pin drop. <laughs> the pin drop of, oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive me. <laughs> I must have missed you. That was so good. That was so fucking good. I'm like so hype about myself and, and Kylo from that. It was good. I won't do my horn anymore though. <clears throat> I'm just starting to like Kylo. That's the plan. He, he would like to, you know, schmooze with her a little bit, but we don't really get the option. Uh, we don't really get the chance very often. <clears throat> That's he's trying to build a um, reputation of being like calm under pressure. You know, because like when everyone else is yelling, he's like trying not to yell back. He's, you know, he wants to be steadfast. <clears throat> Which is a lot harder to do than you would think. Because he was, he was like, on the tip of his tongue, he was like, <laughs> I know the fucking weight of my men's death, <laughs> motherfucker. You don't need to tell me. <clears throat> I was there. I like the. Oh, are you volunteering? <laughs> Miss Sunny. Hmm. You're a very hard man to find. Apologies. I was uh, at a meeting. Tells <clears throat> me. Next morning, come get your thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, Weren't here ready. the next morning, and the morning after that I couldn't <clears> find <throat> you, and then this morning you're not here. The girl might think you're running off with her things. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel so exposed without them. What's in the box? It's where my things are going. I right. think me walking around with them might be a little concerning. Maybe for some people. I think for the other girls at the bathhouse. Be careful with them. A lot of them have really quick tongues. Concerning. <laughs> hmm. I was hoping to get a meeting and with you. And for your anyone else who wants to know? Friend. With. Really? Good luck. You've been busy. <laughs> hmm. I haven't seen hide or hair of her, so... No, no. Your friend. 
couldn't give my friend. Really? Got a plan. What do you want with him? Might be able to kill some dread knives. A lot of them, if we play it right. Huh. I'll let him know. I would um, appreciate your support as well. You have to tell me the plan before you have my support. <clears throat> well, when you hear it, you can decide then. But just know I would appreciate it. Hmm. Fine. <laughs> have a good day, Miss Sunny. Duly noted. You too. Stay out of trouble. I'm never in trouble. Mm-hmm. Come on. Oh. Sorry, if, if that made you feel uncomfortable, guys. Um, I had to crack my neck like hella bad. <laughs> I forget that the mic is like right there, so you could totally hear it. Still hitting nurse for Kyla? Yeah, like fucking, those are his men. They love him and he loves them and he gets, he's really upset when they die for no fucking reason. Especially when it's for stupid shit. <clears throat> but he's not gonna tell that to them. I was I was about to be like, let's see what the men think, <laughs> like, cause I doubt they would they'd go for anyone else, motherfucker. You got cracks that good. Once you do it a couple of times, it gets like worse and well, I don't want to say worse and worse, but it's like my knuckles. Hang on, let me. There we go. And my knees, of course. <clears throat> Dude, that made me need to crack mine. I love the walking style too. It's so good. I just want to like stride around town like this. One of, yes. What do you mean? What do you mean? The short lord? You're calling me short. It's my shit. It's the short. My short. See it in the road. It's a rock. What are you doing? Right now, just walking around. Getting my finger on the pulse cool. of the town. How are you? Mm -hmm. This is my offer with that goldy staff of yours. Anything there today? Well, what? No, no, since Nick. Anyway. Triggered. Um, <laughs> every time I make those jokes, I remember I probably shouldn't, and then all the repressed memories come back from Corona, and then I'm like, oh god, why am I panic attacking right now? <laughs> 
Exit the field. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna be a bodyguard for some merchant. Yeah. <clears throat> Is this through the merc company or your own stuff? Mm -hmm. Nope. I signed back with the mercenaries company. I was in a drunken like rage and I quit. Thanks. Uh, uh, mercenary contract is supposed to happen soon. Oh, I see. Um, give you a little bit of perspective on that. Because you think that. Sorry. Like a thousand euros. Kind of. Different opinion. I do. <laughs> I was trying to explain what lords were to a hobbit who's never been in town before. <laughs> and then there was like you and your father were walking. Who did you meet? I said the lord, and they're like, there's a short lord. There's a short. I'm just familiar with new. Uh, Right. He didn't you know, know the Discord. He, he was That's cool. Also, face your father, you are the a oh, I see. This is not becoming a thing. It, it was Palos. You know, no, oh, it's totally You're taller than now. me. This, <laughs> the same I mean, way not, fucking you know, Anthony better, is, you know, hard. Well, way, right? I'm average size. So yeah, for a drow. Same. Yeah. No, the same way that Anthony is mittens, you are now short. I mean, by I'm sorry, just <laughs> the way the world works. We work hard to to gain levels of respect among the people. Not the people. I'm not. <laughs> Don't you sneer. <laughs> <clears throat> Your people. I only make fun of the people I respect. So oh. I'm just an right asshole of the people I don't respect. In the next five to ten oh. years. Yeah, that's why we appreciate you, Hopper. I'm a, I'm a funny asshole to the ones I do respect. Well, it's because I'm constantly mm -hmm. having work, so I'm constantly oh. fighting. Hmm. Don't look at me. Keep walking. If I stop the video, it's like... Oh. <laughs> Is that a funny <laughs> asshole or just a regular asshole? I can't tell. It's the app, such as regular asshole. I keep having the free time. Yeah, not quite. Sanders is at least tolerable. But... I need a buckler. I hope you do as well. Um, a shield. But I guess that sentiment uh, came about. Yep, a little one. The, uh, like this big. Uh, like a dinner plate. Okay. I know what a buckler is. I've got uh, one yep. of those. Don't know if yep, I can yep. make one. I can make weapons, right. but I can but check. I I asked. That'd be the armor smith. I asked for an armor smith. I sent a letter to Coracatus like weeks ago, and they probably said, "Fuck you." Why would I come to some backwater town? Um, you can check with Wayne Wright though. Oh yeah. Do that. If, if Dredge brings me one, I'll let the you arena. know. Like the prettiest, shiniest one. The arena! I see. Yeah, well, Dredge yeah. was like always collects yeah. the weapons of the people he fucking mercs. And then usually sells them to these fellas. Uh, I'll, just I'll check Wainwright. Fellas. See yep. if he has something that fits my size. A regular buckler is gonna take up my old fucking arm. That's not what I want. Yeah. Yeah, you meant to use it for parrying, right? Check out mine. Yeah. Cool. I want to you. protect myself like this. Like I just, just my yeah, face and my I, neck I worry and about you using it to try and b block like a great sword or something, and having it just, you know. I don't want no, that. if anything, it's to block other projectiles. Hello. Smart. I can see you with a tower shield. I got you see her with a tower shot shield? in the stomach. I you couldn't know? carry yeah. around a fucking <laughs> tower <laughs> shield. Kite shield. I need to be trained to carry such a heavy thing. Is he shooting? That's why I don't want to use the obelisk, because it's loud, and it's slow, and it's heavy. You know, we need to get you a big shield, and you put it on your back. So you shoot, and then you turn around and reload, and you're covered. Riddle. I think you'd be good with a rapier. Yes, yes it is. I tried a, an S-Dog for a while, oh, but Sarah, I you know just what you have do? this longsword now. You get Tang. The, like, design's are really cool, where it's like a back-covering thing that's like, joint it. So like, you still move and stuff like that, but like you turn around, like bend over, and it bends with you, and you like reload your ship, but you're, you're like armadillo. You are so 
fucking <clears throat> dramatic. I just want to fucking buck that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all. Hey, I love the ideas, though. To them, I have to defend myself. Okay, so I'm thinking Sam like really have the resources right a now big to do that iron shit. suit that you just like. I'm okay with other people fighting around me. Just full, full that's full totally out. stealthy. Clang, 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 clang. Just jingle all the way. At this point, I should just get a spider silk cat suit that covers my entire body and no one can see anything except my eyes and Rawr. flit about the fucking rooftops with a cat tail. Yeah. Rawr. Why did everyone get quiet when I started describing it? Where are you attaching the cat tail to? I don't know. Sometimes. Marin, we. It feels good. Role playing with a cat. No, I'm not doing that again. No. No. Again. Mm -mm. Swing a blade. Mm. I'll have to search my memories again. No. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> One time you slip up once and they never let you live it. No. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you guys to it. We all stay out of trouble. I know what Bye. this one's like. No. I guess it's never finding common ground, huh? And making compromises. You're bad. Naughty. Mm. Naughty, 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 naughty spider naughty colony. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Shard. Yeah, I, I really said like the green mile. Uh oh. You're lucky I'm not as good a throw as her. Otherwise. <laughs> the Lord's abusing his power and his, and his peasants. Oh no. No. -uh. Throw this at him. Thank the political you. scandal. Agree to disagree. Clifford? Thank you. That thing we talked about last night won't gonna, ain't gonna happen today. It's too busy over there. But I've been in straight away to get in. Yep. Is Kate just having a time. one conversation with someone over there? Very quietly. Alright. Very quietly, as in you can't hear it. <laughs> if at all, we'll have what we need tomorrow. He's open. No, see, that's just rude, Aka. You're being right. rude. Because Sarah doesn't leave you. Uh, if you could hand this over to Lady Viola. You're not always alone. You think works. you're alone, because you used to be alone. A ladder that broke somebody's leg. Mm. Mm. That <laughs> isn't that something to step in on. I just heard a ladder breaking someone's leg. How are you two today? Good. Minus I this guy trying to break people's windows. Oh. Yeah, we're doing great. I'm not trying to break people's fucking windows. Being a disturber of the peace, Tang. No. Yeah. If I was, I would be swinging this thing with reckless abandon. I believe it's my duty, good lord, as a um, resident of Nodis, to notify you when there is a problematic individual within our community and one who is um, actively destroying property. I see. <clears throat> the, I'm... I'll arrest them immediately. I'll take him on. I'm doing me. You're coming away for a long time. <laughs> wait, wait. You're coming away for wait, a long time, this? fucker. What's, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. No, you can't. <laughs> Was that profiling? Am I one of the bad ones now? Wait, no, I'm I'm a drow. I'm fine. I can do this. This is I'm fine. It's fine. Say. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm a I was about to say, yeah, you were good. Well, technically, you're racially profiling yourself because drow are known slavers. But name eighteen drow that you know are slavers. Go on. I'll wait. You can't, well, can you? Except for you and Seraphith. No, no, technically Sarah's a, well, Sarah's a slave right now because she does own a slave. All 18 <laughs> except you. I'm one of the good ones, okay? You leave me alone. <laughs> no, hold, okay. Now you just pee. No, no, no. It's okay, Tang. It's okay, <laughs> Tang. I'm one of the. You can say it. You're friends with me, right? I give you the pass. <laughs> You have guys. the drow pass. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Tyler, is it at this point that you notice that Tang is holding a long spool of rope with a stone tied to the end of it? 
a fairly sizable You stack. are throwing shit through people's windows, aren't you? I told you! <laughs> what you the fuck? Nothing. I saw nothing. I'm leaving this. Uh, don't you run. He's running! He's running! I want to talk to you, Kyla. <laughs> Oh. Why did you throw it that way? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I heard whoosh, and I thought you were throwing it at and me. And I kind of need <laughs> actually, for it too. This is kind of serendipitous. It's perfect. The fuck does that mean? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so the thing we were talking about, um, your crazy sister. So she, um... Oh, right. Oh, right, that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Wait, do you have another sister that's crazy? You're looking no, at me I, like... No, for some reason I thought you were talking about Sarah, and I was like, that's kind of weird. No. Why are you... No, not... Stop messing with those. <laughs> have you seen my new bow that he made, actually? It's quite impressive. Mm -mm. Anyway, um... Oh, I shattered a fucking shield with it. Uh, anyway, um... Uh, it's kind of a long story, but she's a problem. And I think you can recognize it too. Don't talk shit about my sister. Okay, maybe I should. Maybe I should elaborate. <sighs> she acts like a feral animal, half of the time, and you can recognize it. You can't tell me I'm wrong. She's been that way since I've met her. But it's kind of gotten worse since coming here. <clears throat> And from my understanding, there was one point in time that she wasn't that way. At least not to this extent. She was more open and caring about people and... Uh, people deal with grief in a way. It has been years. And I understand grief as much as anyone else right now. But only relying on three people is not going to save her any grief. It is going to leave her sheltered, and maybe someday alone. So I had a plan, and Faye agrees with it, along with Tang. But considering you're one of her three, I want you to sign off on it too. She's being put in my care. No more Grove, no more running home into the woods. I think she needs a taste of real life for a change. And I don't want you to let her run to you either. Do you think you can stop her? I want her... Truthfully. Yeah. You're going to hold her hearing I so well. I think I do. Yep. 100%. <sighs> but she won't go anywhere else. And that I do know. Because, like she said, you three are her people. The only people she cares about. So, if Faye says she has to stay with me, she'll listen. And if you say she has to stay with me, she'll listen. And if Tang says she has to stay with me, she'll listen. I just want her to open up to people again. Doesn't have to do it completely. She doesn't have to like everybody. But there's a point that you have to be able to stand after grief. And she's not standing. She's regressing and crumbling. <clears throat> she can't grieve properly because it's not over yet. It's never gonna be over. We're not. My sister is still uh. fucking walking around. Or at least her corpse. Uh, I get that. And when that dies, she's going to have to grieve. Again. And I hope by then, her circle's a little bit bigger. Nor do I. At the moment, she's going to be catching herself with strings. If she falls down at all. Kyla, we got into a fight the other day, her and I, over this. She ran off in a corner and growled at me. Like a feral animal. What a curse. Uh... 
Tell me that's okay. You're asking to change who she is. Mm -mm. I'm asking for her to open up. And that's it. You tell me how your world would be if you only had three people and it was that small. That's different. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a very tense corner here. Be easier. Sorry, I can keep walking. Hmm. If you need me, I'll be free to a few minutes. Like I used to as well. No worries. I get it, I understand. I'm not going to... No, I get it. I just... Not completely comfortable with it is all. I get it. If it helps. We're not trying to change who she is. We're trying to make sure that she doesn't go crazy in her grief. Because as she is, she's regressing into something that is not able to live anywhere else but the woods. We're trying to at least give her more. Tell me <clears throat> what happens when you leave. If Faye dies, if Tang is gone, what happens to her? She won't know how to survive on her own. She would just be in the woods. She has to know how to thrive, even in her grief. She's a great fighter, but emotionally she is broken right now. Fine. I'm not gonna abuse her or anything. It's not her I'm worried about. Don't worry about me. I've handled her before. Kind of I can do it again. Hmm. Michael. <laughs> Just so you know, Ashan blew up the apothecary again. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Not again. They're already all cleared <laughs> out and it's being aired it's like out already. Time this week. Yep. He's working on something big. Uh, before you go, Kyler. L. I'll talk L. to you later L. about a project. That's it. I'm heading to the oh, river for the rest of the day. Oh, I gotta Sean deal with this with the Aaron out right now. He had two explosions again. Yeah, so Not I heard. I so I, that's what I was going to check yeah. on. That's what I heard. Yeah, he, he's, he went to, with Miss Torchy. We're fine. It just <clears throat> blew a bunch of smoke everywhere. Uh... It blew two people back. <laughs> what the fuck was he doing? Right what was he messing I with? Uh, he, he had... Two volatile uh, experiments going on. That fucking man. <laughs> All right. But it's airing out right now, so he's on board. Huh? The thing with Wolf. He's on board. Oh, good. Um, I had uh, last night was a good night. Um. She came awake and actually, um, come closer, look closer. I want people to hear this. It's the first time in a long time, but we slept together in the same bed, but this time it was different color. She actually hugged on to me and wept through half the night and wept into her sleep until she said sleep. She asked me a peculiar question. She said that, um, she was wondering if, uh, she had any faults, you know, that she wasn't succeeding enough. I said, no. I said, you've done everything that you can. I said, but you need to learn more from what Kyler and the others can offer you. If you want to be by my side up in the keep when we're at these parties and 
look at and watch my back like Kyler does to his father. I said, you're going to have to wear spider silk garments like him. You're going to have to be able to just nod your head and bow properly without growling at people. She go, okay, all right. So she was very docile last night. It's the first time I've ever seen her just be, I don't know, just different. I don't know what changed, but it definitely do her some good if you did speak with her. Where is she? Uh, the, the conversation was more so about him, her living here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we want to get her That's... used to more society. Yeah. And the part of her keep keeping her distance from the things that she's used to, so that way she has to learn. That was the conversation I meant he was on board with. Okay. Well, I mean, if I, if I, this would be the opportunity, she's feeling that way, like, like she's not all the way there, so, then this will help you get you there where I need you to be. Do this for me and you'll be doing what you're striving to achieve, and that might push her, give her the nudge she needs. Right. Well, Tang and I are still on board with having her stay here. We're and, ready. and I think I got her finally to the point to where she will... Start accepting, f making friends with people. <laughs> Where is she? She's, um, she was at the tavern eating with me, and then she was with me and Barlock, and then she disappeared. She's in a right now. She's not available. Okay, okay. no! Get over it! Fucking pussy noble boy! Get over it! You got any money for me, Elf? You make me some money? Yeah, I did make money. Um, so what was it? Two seven, so fourteen. I'll take sixty off the top. Uh, or if you want to make it easier, I'll just take it. I'll take a silver. Thirteen. That makes it right easier. Alright, let me. Yeah, give me, give me, give me whatever it may be. 